After the suicide of my friend Adam, I made a decision to try and educate others outside of the scientific community about the disorder that ultimately led to his death. Adam had depression. People tend to believe that there's a selfishness associated with suicide, but they're forgetting one thing, that these brains are not functioning in the same way that ours may be. The brain is important to behavior because it drives it. Um, in, my, in my opinion, you know, there is no behavior without the brain. So the way the brain functions drives uh, behavior. One in five of us suffers from a mental disorder at some point in our lives. Even more are affected indirectly by this disorder. So why do we not understand more about it? Although depression is called a mental disorder, this is misleading. Depression is a brain disorder, and the behaviours tend to manifest only after the changes have already begun in the brain. Everything we do, everything we think, has to do with what's going on in the brain. So whatever your brain is telling you reality is, that's what you experience. So when people are depressed, they are, this isn't a choice that they're making, it's that their brain is running in such a way that they feel depressed. When you feel elated, it's the same thing. When you feel dizzy, it's the same thing. We are slaves to whatever is going on under the hood, and that's the reality that we have to face. We're making animation combining neuroscience with face paint to tell a story of depression, to raise awareness about mental health. The story is the emotional journey combined with the science behind it. We want to show that there are reactions in the brain controlling your mind. The film's going to be about a minute long. I shoot at a frame rate of about 12.5 frames per second. So for a minute it's a minimum of 750 frames. That's 750 paintings. As well as a grant award from Queen Mary Centre of Public Engagement, the project has received support from the scientific community. Travelling to Houston recently meant I could promote the project beyond the UK. At Adam's funeral, I was struck by his father's words to us as he left. Don't let your brain control your mind. Ruby is a short animation using face paint that I painted on my own face. I call it an animated self-portrait. It's about the cycle of life and the energy transferring from one incarnation to the next. With this new film, my friend Kevin has generously agreed to model for me, as this is a subject that's close to his heart. I got involved in this project because the subject of depression and anxiety and mental illness is something I know quite a lot about. I mean, I have to live with it. And I think it's, a, it's becoming more and more talked about and more and more recognised. You know, it's a subject that gives itself to artistic expression. There's a real craving for understanding science, but it's difficult to do that in the traditional academic sense of having textbooks and papers. When I saw Emma's work, I was blown away by it because it's so beautiful and creative and it can really tell a story. We've also been sharing storyboards with other scientists, mental health professionals and people who suffer depression to create something that can get the message across in a really beautiful way. The work that you're proposing to do, the project that you're uh, engaging in, I think it's very exciting. This matters to everyone. What's happening in our brains defines our reality. And to the degree that we can get that out of the lab and into the public sphere, that's a really critical mission for us. Through our collaboration, we hope to show the very real biological underpinnings 
of what is frequently considered to be just in the mind. Using art, we can demonstrate the impact that the brain has on mood and reach an audience who may not normally get exposure to information about neuroscience. Depression is not a disorder of the mind. It is a disorder of the brain.